stars you're about to meet next on Soap Pads. I'm Kim Zimmer. Welcome to Soap Pads 3, our third special featuring some of daytime's biggest stars, all on the set they created themselves in their own homes. Our first guest is one of the best-known characters in daytime. Leslie Charlson has played Monica Quartermain on General Hospital since 1978. She's the orphan who turned doctor, who married into one of Port Charles' wealthiest families. Today, her character Monica is the hospital's chief cardiologist, and she spends her time working to mend hearts. But off the set, Leslie's heart is in her beautiful Hollywood Hills home. It's my house. I gave it to you. And I will thank you not to lecture Emily, you overblown pompous windbag. As General Hospital's Monica Quartermain, she lives in a mansion. But in real life, Leslie Charlson's Hollywood Hills home is done in grand style. But it's very livable. It's a big house. It's a big house, but it is, um, it's a warm house. Well, at least I hope it is. I think it is. I think growing up on the East Coast, living in Connecticut, then in New York City, I kind of brought the style of country with me. Elegant yet comfy is what I knew that I liked. Leslie spotted the 4,100 square foot house in 1998 when she was looking for a bigger home with some very specific qualities, beautiful grounds and a large swimming pool. When I did go through it, I looked out the window and I thought, wait, I, I wanted a bigger pool, but maybe not this big. <laughs> And it had a backyard. In fact, it's a little over half an acre, which is remarkable for this area. But the 1948 Georgian-style home needed work inside and out. Being the outdoor person that I was, I immediately focused on the outside. I really wanted the outside to look, to look good, since I now had the pool of my dreams. So, Leslie ripped out pink-colored concrete that surrounded the pool and replaced it with blue stone. She planted grass and flowers where a cracked basketball court and a jungle gym once stood. Mission accomplished outside, Leslie turned her attention inside. When you walk in the front door, you look directly into the den and a big picture window. And that was where I focused my energy. Leslie affectionately calls the den the horse room because it features a picture of her own horse along with prints of horses she picked up during her travels. She chose a color palette of warm autumn shades for a comfortable, cozy feel. And the feeling was to be where you come in, get your boots off, and sit down. Leslie faced her biggest decorating challenge in the living room, a large space where she wanted to merge comfort with elegance. I don't think I've ever worried paint so much as I did in this room. I spent hours looking at these walls and putting samples up and staring at all times of the day. At night, you could find me with a flashlight sitting on the floor staring at this because this was the monumental decision. It was going to cover all this space. Leslie ultimately chose a shade of foam, a subtle backdrop for her furnishings, which include a mix of family heirlooms and antiques. Against one wall, a hutch that belonged to Leslie's mother showcases a very personal collection. The collection of houses that are inside uh, have been collected by my mother and by me. They all each have their own little history. Sofas in green linen with hand-embroidered needlepoint pillows stand in the heart of the room. A painting, also belonging to Leslie's mother, is framed by French sconces that date back to the early 1800s. And the mirror was quite a find because it's in the 1820s and the original paint, if you look at it, it goes so well with the sofa that it practically walked on over by itself. The elegance of the living room is carried over into the dining room where a new piece inspired Leslie to make over some old ones. The table is oak and it's a reproduction and I love it, I love the color, in fact, Going on that, I had a piece of it I've already owned, refinished and stained to go with the dark wood that, that's in there. 
The question of what to put on the walls was answered during a trip to Nantucket, where she discovered these collages in a local art gallery. And it was an extraordinary trip that was the inspiration for the design of this very private room. What to do with my bedroom was solved when I went to Africa. It changed my life. When I came home with all of the souvenirs that I brought with me, I thought, well, it's a good place to have them and be in my bedroom. So I did. And now I have a little bit of Africa here. So I have it in the lamp, the bedspread, the bamboo. I've carried a wonderful trip right back to my home. It may not be the mansion she inhabits on TV, but for Leslie Charlson, home is a very rich place, where a wealth of family history and items filled with special memories from travels near and far merge to create a very personal and beautiful dwelling. It's a style that Leslie says grows out of a simple decorating philosophy. I go by what I like and what I think is going to fit me. It's a scent. This house means a lot to Leslie. It's the eighth one she's lived in since she moved to California in 1973. She's so happy with the way it turned out that every day when the rest of the cast goes to the studio commissary for lunch, she goes home to spend that hour in her very own kitchen. She says she smiles every time she pulls into the driveway. Welcome back. Our guests today laugh and cry and, well, lead very dramatic lives. It's what they get paid to do. So we wanted to know if they found decorating just as dramatic. And for some, it really is. And when it comes to whatever I do on the, on the soap and what happens in this house, it's basically about the same thing. You go from chaos to high drama to pathos and everything that I do there I've ha has happened to me here, except I haven't walked away from it yet. Well, I've always come back in the soap, too. That's our show. We hope you enjoyed our latest installment of Soap Pads, and maybe you've been inspired to add a little drama to your own home. I'm Kim Zimmer. Thanks to all of our daytime stars, and thank you for watching Soap Pads 3.